Hi everybody. Got some more tips for young flutists. Um, these are some aids that I use with my own students. Some of them I also use for myself. Um, the first suggestion that I have are these Fab Feet uh, spot dot cushions. I buy these at Target, by the way. Um, I use these to put on students' flutes so that the kids know where to put their thumb, their right thumb. Lots of young kids want it up here. Some of them will have it even out here. Um, if you can, if the kids are comfortable, I would say try to have their right thumb somewhere in the neighborhood of between these two fingers. Now, I keep my thumb a little further back when I play rather than extending out. Um, it doesn't have to be way in the back, but, you know, kind of right on the bottom of the flute um, so that it helps me to balance. Um, and then I put a sticker, I use one of these fab feet, and put it right on the kids' flutes so that they know my right hand goes on, my thumb is on this little padded sticker. This right here is something that I personally really need. Um, this is Dr. Scholl's uh, double air pillow insoles that I cut in rectangles, and this is one of these uh, 3M uh, poster hanging strips that I use to stick this to my flute. Some kids, some small kids, you might find their hands aren't big enough to have one of these. They might not need it. Um, if you've got a kid who's holding the flute like this, rather than having their left hand a little more under the instrument, this might be something that that they may find helpful. Um, I use it both for balance and um, I was really getting to the point where this finger just hurt a lot from pressing on the flute to try to hold it um, in the right position. So this has been a tremendous help to me. These poster, uh, these three M poster strips don't mark my flute up. Um, if you notice, I've got, you know what, I'll turn it this way so you can see it a little better. Here's my thumb key. Now, most student flutes are not gonna have this extra key. This is something that is mostly on professional flutes. So nonetheless, line up the one edge of this pad about with the start of the thumb key extending toward the top of the flute, extending toward these trill keys. Um, that's roughly where you're gonna have it, if you think they need it. Um, but again, this can be a big help making sure the kids get a good hand position when they're holding their flutes. You wanna tell them right hand approaches the flute like a claw. You can see I've got a nice curve to my fingers, lightest touch possible. I tell my kids, when you got the death grip going on your flute, it's like trying to swim with jeans on. You really can't move. Like when you need to move, you really can't. So try to encourage them from the start, the lightest touch possible that they can use to close the keys. Left hand, I basically have balanced on the flute with this part of my finger here right near the joint. I don't know if you can exactly tell. But I want my left hand under the flute. The reason being is because it helps me to make sure that my left fingers are comfortably close to these keys. When you have kids that are extended out like this, they really seem to have a hard time coordinating these, these fingers on their left hand. So hope that's helpful. These are a big help. This is the pad that I use and these command strips. Um, one last note about these. Um, I can't leave this stuck to my flute when I put it in the case. Some cases you don't have to take it off, it'll fit fine. Some cases it won't. So when I pack up my flute at the end of the day, I peel this off and stick it on the top where it can still be in the case, but I can close it. So there's my, uh, here is my hand position for the float.